from WBON TV News. This is Pepsi Zero Sugar. Zero sugar, zero calories, but max Pepsi taste. It's okay to get emotional. We know just how you feel. Here in Berea this morning at the Madison County Health Department, the Syringe Exchange Advisory Committee held a meeting ahead of the rollout for the new needle exchange van that will be coming early August. The program's been in the works for years, and in two weeks, the van should be seen at Madison County Health Departments in both Berea and Richmond handing out needles for exchanges for drug addicts. We talked to communications manager with the health department, Jim Thacker, about what to expect with the legalities of this and what the public needs to know about this new program. The General Assembly uh, a few years ago passed a bill which allowed specifically health departments to set up a syringe exchange program to help address the opioid ep epidemic that we have in Kentucky. Public health's role is to help to prevent the spread of uh, bloodborne diseases that are often spread through injections of illegal drugs. And so we have the legal right through uh, the KRS statutes to establish a syringe exchange program. The way that process worked was that we had to get the approval of the fiscal court. And once the fiscal court gave us approval, then we had to get permission from the two cities, Maria and Richmond, in order to operate within city limits. So we've been through that process. And having uh, gotten through that process and gotten approval of, of local government, then we have now have the statutory authority to uh, set up the syringe exchange program. As far as any legal ramifications or, or benefits for the people who are using, um, it, it basically uh, is my understanding um, that by working through with local law enforcement, and, and having them involved in this process and, and, and our agreement with them is that our clients will receive an ID card. It, it doesn't have a name on it, but it has a unique or alphanumerical identifier that will allow them to come to our exchange and to pick up needles and drop off dirty needles, but also when they carry that with them, if they're stopped and they have our needles in their vehicle, if they're stopped by police, they can show them that card and the officers will see that card and they won't be arrested for having syringes in their possession. However, if they're stopped and they have our syringes and they have illegal drugs or they have other illegal paraphernalia, they will go to jail. Uh, officers can arrest them. It is not a get out of jail free card. And we, that's something we're very open about to our clients. They can't be involved in any illegal activity on our property. If they are involved in illegal uh, activity, then we have a legal obligation to call uh, law enforcement. The other thing is that if they come in and they are obviously under the influence of something that would cause a problem with them driving, we have a legal obligation to call law enforcement. So those are things that, that we're very clear about with the clientele. This is not a negotiation. They accept the terms of the program or they can't use the program. Those are some of the, of the things that we've looked at working with law enforcement. Uh, we are also are, are working with the Public Advocate's Office uh, to help promote the program. We hope to work with the County Detention Center. We, we understand that that may put some of them off, but at the same time, we're not willing to put the general public at risk. In Berea at the Madison County Health Department for WBON-TV, I'm Marissa Hempel.